Alright guys, hey, how's it going? Chase Dorito here. Um, I'm going to be showing you the lay down on my kayak. It's uh, kind of wet and messy right now because I just got in. I got skunked. But uh, I got some cool clips that I'll uh, show in the, in the video or at the end. Alright, so you know what? We're just going to start from the back. My garage is messy. Alright, first I'd like to comment on the handles. They're actually not low quality. I've heard uh, people talking about how bad quality they are. They're actually pretty awesome. They're uh, really nice. The rubber handle makes it really comfortable. Um, these latches right here, there's there was actually a band that goes back here, an elastic band, but um, I just took that off because I wanted to make more room. Um, the dimensions, uh, the kayak is 11 feet by about 36 inches. It's um, a good size. You can actually stand in it. So that's good when, like, summertime, you want to flip and pitch. I'm um, back here in the storage area. You can see that I have plenty of storage and uh, scupper holes back here. I have this Bass Pro uh, Pro Qualifier 370 with a whole bunch of different stuff in here. I actually uh, talked about it in my last video, but yeah, those are all my tackle boxes. I keep uh, like line and sunscreen, line and sunscreen up here. All the basic necessities. As three rod holders, there's one right here in the middle from when you're just like fishing, want to put your rod in front of you for a second. And it has two uh, inside rod holders. And um, if you guys don't know, I was actually supposed to, but I just got this new Kistler Magnesium TS heavy action rod. And then over here, I got my blackout, which all you guys know I have with this little red eye shad that I didn't catch anything on. Then I got this new Lose Tournament MB Speed Spool 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. And um, moving up, this seat cushion is actually really awesome. It has great back support. It has awesome foam. And um, the actual part that your butt sits on is kind of a joke. It's really uncomfortable. And after a, couple, after a little while of sitting in it, it gets super uncomfortable. And uh, the bad thing is that it has two scupper holes behind it, so your butt could get wet if you get like, some splashes. But this is just a throwable PFD that I use for my seat. It's really comfortable, and it gives me a couple inches off the seat. Uh, keep going forward. <clears throat> it has this dry hatch that really isn't that dry, but it's dry enough. It has this like ceiling thing right here that keep, tries to keep things dry. Um, I just got this dry box and attached it to this leash that's inside the well with the carabiner. And it just unhooks like that. And I just put my phone, keys, wallet, you know, all that stuff in there. It just closes like so. Random beaver. Um, right here I have my fish grips on a carabiner attached to one of the handles. They're not like the rubber f or uh, plastic fish grips, but they're aluminum. Uh, it has scupper holes all the way through it. Keeps me dry. Um, I always just keep this bag. It has my face mask, sun hat, uh, hat cam that I'm using right now in here. This right here is just a mesh that I kind of just clip my stuff in. I usually keep this in here so it doesn't uh, go off. I get my pliers and usually just hook it on like that. <clears throat> oh, and going back to this rod holder, holder, it's really cheap. Cheaply made and it's like wobbly. I... I haven't gotten a chance to get a new one, but I definitely will for sure. And I'll, um, I'm actually planning on getting a fish finder and an anchor trolley. And I'm going to try to upgrade it more. Um, going on to my paddle, it attaches, goes into two pieces. And um, if you guys are looking to buy a paddle or like you ju you're just trying to upgrade, do not buy this one. Do not buy this one. It's... It's, it tracks really well, it moves your kayak, it does what you need to do, but these like cavities right here scoop up water and literally throw it into your boat like a bucket. Like That's why my boat is so wet. These things just scoop water like buckets. Um, right here you have three foot wells on each side. Since I'm, I'm about 6'1", 6'2", so um, my legs are fully extended to the last foot well and they're still bending, so... It's actually comfortable. If I extended them all the way, my feet would be just, my legs would just be straight. Um, right here, this is my little adjustable camera tripod that I haven't used yet, but I just put it there for fun. Um, this is just an extra storage well. I've seen people actually cut holes into this area and then get, um, like, 
a crate or something like that, keep it up here, and then these are just like really tight bungees that you can strap down with. Um, I actually didn't mention the name in the beginning, it's a Motion Stealth 11 uh, kayak. I got it in the Desert Storm color. Um, they actually used to sell it in a, a green color, but they don't anymore. Um, oh, for your paddle, it has this little leash thing right here that you can hook your paddle on whenever you're not using it. And uh, the good thing about this seat is for like transport. Oh crap. It can like go down and fully extend and then go back up. And you can detach it right here. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that's my kayak. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like watching these videos, then like and subscribe. Thanks. The seal right there has something in his mouth. Can you guys see him? See him right there? Oh, dude, that's sick. He just had something in his mouth that looked like a fish. Dude. There he goes. That was a big old seal.